Infinity Center. This and what a, a good evening it is. It is a wonderful evening. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Merrill in a miracle finish, 59-58. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, and WTOP's Dave Preston. Dave, what'd you see tonight? Hey, heck of a finish. Uh, first off, you have to say defensively, they held the Illini without a basket for the final 5.05, and that's how you win in the Big Ten, especially when you start shooting as badly as they did today. It was a rock fight early for the Terps. They got things done late. You gotta credit Anthony Cowan, too. He took the game in his hands when nobody was making shots, hit that game-tying three, then hit the game-winning free throw. That's what a senior hero does. That's why he came back to Maryland to be a winner, and he was today that's po that's point number one it was your senior guard the senior leadership that did it but guys let's give mr turgeon the thumbs up for missing that foul shot yes and putting the heat on them to have to score in two seconds i didn't think he would do it he did it it was brilliant it's why they didn't even get off any they didn't get off the shot no and uh once again, the starts, it's driving me nuts, man. It's just absolutely driving me nuts. And I gotta tell you something, this was like the first game of the season. This was Big Ten basketball. This was bully ball. This is everything that the Terps are gonna face. And they, I hate to say it, they gotta do better. I think you're right. I think gotta right. do better. And, and I believe that they will. For a couple of these guys, the first Big Ten game, first real game, as you said, they ever played. but. Throughout the Turgeon era, especially once Mello showed up, Maryland has these games where they squeeze it and grind it at home, and somehow they win. That was the Mello Trimble like three that Cowan made, and I was just wondering who's who's going to do it tonight because it was going to get done. It was going to be Cowan. It had to be Cowan. He's the only guy who could have led us back. Wiggins was off. Ayala was off. Sticks was great. But there was nobody really in the okay. nets except Cowan Look, and Sticks. Let's, Things did not begin well early for Sticks because the, the kid from Jamaica, the seven-footer uh, Coburn, was a beast in the first half. He got into foul trouble in the right. second half, and he was able to take advantage. Another double-double for Jalen Smith. How about that? You got even, and today wasn't a loud double-double. It was a quiet double-double. He did a lot of the little well, he things, He made too. that three when they left him alone, yep. and then, then you start to go, okay, we're going to somehow, we're going to win this game just like all those others. But I was wondering, where is my miracle season going to come from? And then it showed up. This is the Big Dog post-game show. We will be back at Xfinity Center in a moment. I look up there, we still won. It's still 59-58. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. Jackler's Law Group clients are happy clients, and here's why. Our lawyers are experienced, hardworking professionals who fight until you win, and you pay no fees until we do. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or train crash, we meet you where you are and when you can. If you've been in a crash, don't wait. Call the big dogs now. Let us handle the insurance company so you can focus on healing, and you'll see why we were named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. CAG Federal brings a combination of military operational and commercial business experience to your organization. We mix extraordinary organizational management experience with strong leadership skills to provide your department with the best chance for success. When 99.9 percent .9 reliability isn't good enough, call CAG Federal at 877-797-8776 or on the web at cagfederal.com. Bruce, this is close to a miracle finish. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy than Cowan. He's the guy, man. He did. He missed it on purpose. Here it comes. It's over. It's over. Back here on the floor at Xfinity Center, I'd like to thank Viner Four Gates in Rockville, Meyer Consulting Engineers, and of course, the big dog, Rick Jacklich himself. 
Look, there were a lot of times Maryland went down the offensive end and either it was a charge, it was a push in the back. Dave, how many times did we create our own turnovers there? It felt like every other time they went down the floor, they either got a, off a bad shot that clanged off the rim, they got an unkind uh, bounce off the rim. I don't know. They need to check that rim, I yeah. think, in the first half. Or uh, they had an offensive foul or a charge. And you can't do that in Big Ten play. I think this is a team that's going to get better. They're going to improve offensively as the season uh, progresses. But it felt like this team was grinding its gears early and often in the first half. And they were lucky to be only down by 14 at the half. This Illinois team is kind of offensively challenged. If this was a decent team they played today, it would have been a 20-point game at the break. Okay, you love the referees, don't you? Well, let me tell you, Paul D was out there tonight. That's, that's P.J. Carson. D.J. Carson. D.J., that's it. D.J., right. we have a horrible history with him. He just seems to make calls to, like, get the place going hot. Now, he called them both ways. Right. I'm not going to say oh, Yeah, he made way. bad calls both ways. He I agree. Both he was ways. consistently <laughs> uneven. Right. right. But when this guy shows up, you never know what's going to happen. Well, he got Dustin. Dustin oh. Clark was the most entertaining thing right. to watch for about 30 of the 40. Dustin almost got yeah. tossed, all right? Yeah. But that's not unusual. But, hey, guys, so they're now 10-0, but 1-0 right. where it matters. You know, all the other games seem like they matter, but this is the one that matters. And now we got to play Penn State, who got waxed today by Jawan Howard in Michigan. All Michigan right? looks really good. Michigan was, looks was fantastic. Was it Ohio State or Michigan today? No. Was it a Friday night game? Did no, it was today. Friday? It was Ohio State. Who did Michigan beat? Uh, Iowa? They oh, Michigan beat Iowa. Last night. Right. So the Ohio season State. blends. It, yeah. it just it gets late early here But you sometimes. know what? <laughs> this proved... Do you have an easy right. game in the Big Ten? No, you don't. Well, Rutgers, in theory. Maybe, maybe. maybe. You well, don't yeah. know. Well, I heard the basketball team hired Greg Schiano as well. I, hey, they need him. I, what I think was nice about this game was that in the past, we've seen Maryland struggle against the likes of the Illinois. They're, they always Last find year. a way. Yes. They, they Probably their worst loss of the season was against Illinois. Technically, it was a home game, but it was in Madison Square Garden. They played well enough to today to win. They played poorly against Penn State on the road. It usually happens in February where they deliver that clunker. They get Penn State early this year. It will be a, a big test of how mature this team is and how on point this squad is this early to see how well they play on the road next week. Wait, you know what bothers me about Penn State? Go ahead. We're going to play that game and the place is going to be half empty. Yeah, it's like going to a Maryland football game. I mean, yeah. it's, it's going to be like nobody there. Talking about the crowd, what I really liked, yeah. from press from press row, we yeah. can see the scoreboard on the opposite end, yeah. except when it gets really crowded and somebody is right in front of the numbers. Right. It was nice not to be able to see all of the numbers yeah. on the scoreboard. Yeah. It, it, it today funny. felt like the really the first game of the season right. I, as far as the crowd was fantastic. I know you have to get to the press conference, so we're going to wrap this up in the next 30. Final thoughts on a great Final win. thoughts, just a great way to start off the home Big Ten season. You need to protect your house. It didn't look like it was going to happen, but AC, all right, he popped one. From, how far was that shot? It was on the logo. All right, it NBA. Gary Williams. Yes. NBA so thank you, three. Gary Williams. Technically, NBA, it was the parking lot. NBA yeah. three, and what made me happiest about this yeah. game was the brilliant strategy from Coach Turgeon yeah. missing that foul right. shot. My takeaway, uh, seniors make big plays, and that's what defines a season. Anthony Cowan came back for his senior season to be a winner, and he was a winner today. Enough said. That is that. We'll do it. You can catch us on the radio tomorrow. You have an in the nest? In the nest, baby. The Ravens go to clinch either a playoff spot or a conference, uh, division championship. And that's a The Ravens are hot, and the Redskins are still, still in, in the it. hunt. The what a division. The worst, dream. the worst division uh, ever. That's wonderful. 1300 CBS Sports Radio. If you don't catch us tomorrow, you can catch us on Wednesday at 6 o'clock. And that'll do it. Still 5958. Terps, thanks for watching. And we will see you again on December 29th here against Bryant. Thank you for the save. All Good right. afternoon. All right. Thanks, thanks, gentlemen. Always a pleasure. You're excellent.